this uh, very amateurish production of a video. It's brought to you by my smartphone. But the reason you're here is what you're looking at right now, the Engui EP2 or Engui E-Pro bike. Um, Engui EP2 Pro bike or something like that. Uh, anyway, you'll see in the description. I've had this for about two months now and I have been riding it for slightly over 100 miles or 150 kilometers if you will. Um, I will just go through some of the upgrades that I've made uh, since then and uh, talk a little bit about these upgrades. I will not do any riding pictures uh, or any footage of me riding it right now. Uh, we'll do that later. As you can see, I've uh, put some lights on it to begin with. Uh, I also bought this helmet of the Amazon, uh, which has, as you can see, some light in the back, so I'm well visible in the night. Um, also purchased this backlight thing here, which runs off battery and is uh, rechargeable with a USB, same as with a helmet. And anytime I break, this helmet has this thing where every time it detects you breaking, it's gonna. Oh, I'm very bad at shaking this, but like this. Yeah, so I'm very visible when it comes to riding in a traffic. So let me just turn this off. Um, like so. Anyway, some of the things that I've upgraded to begin with is um, I've put some um, markings on my tires and also customized and personalized the bike a little bit. But the important part is um, let me just do like this. Um, I'm also going to turn off the light, which is down over here, like so. I've upgraded my brakes or my calibers. Calipers, as it's called. Let's see if I can put some light on it, like so. I bought the Zoom XTech HB100, which is cable operated hydraulic brakes and uh, the reason for doing so is that the original brakes were very squeaky and very loud and also one of the disc pads is always touching this um, uh, disc the actual brake disc so i've uh, changed these out and you also have to uh, caliber the calipers <laughs> or adjust them so they sit straight in the middle, so to speak. Because the reason is, as you can see down there maybe, um, these are two brake pads. Whereas in the original ones, only one of them actually applies brake force when braking. Whereas these hydraulic ones, they push uh, from both directions, both from the inside and from the outside, which is very good. They're very quiet and very, applies a very good brake force. Very easy to exchange. Um, took me about 30 minutes to exchange them. Um, yeah, but um, the problem I had was it was on my own fault basically. Um, the first thing I did was put them, um, the back one, I put in the front wheel and so on. So I did, did a little bit of a, you know, screw up there to begin with. But once they're on right and once they're properly calibrated and adjusted, uh, they run very smooth. And most important of all, the brake pads are not touching the, the, the disc all the time. So you get a very smooth ride. Uh, and another thing I've also uh, altered on this bike, a very um, 
significant change that I think also these brakes I think um, I would really recommend if you have the Angry bike that you actually change into these it would be uh, they're a lot better I don't know why they don't have them to begin with I also changed my back uh, cassette or flywheel if you want the original one was very unmatched to the top speed of the bike uh, which resulted in me pedaling a lot without actually applying any force uh, you have to, to basically just ride without pedaling uh, and yeah so I changed into a 11 tooth 11 tooth on the seventh gear which gives me uh, a better exchange ratio ratio ra ratio hard word when riding um, with electrical um, with a pedal assist and such so I would uh, recommend you change the, the back flywheel as well into everything of these things I will link in the description they are available on Amazon or uh, Aliexpress if you will uh, and it's a really good addition to the bike in itself um, depending on how you ride of course one other thing I changed was the seat I changed this into a with a sort of a memory foam kind of thing very soft but most importantly I changed the seat post into a suspension seat post which um, is very good because the bike has front suspension but does not have any suspension at the back so the first week I was riding and I hit a, um, a small bump and uh, yeah I kind of hurt my back a little bit there for a few weeks so I immediately changed into this zoom seat post um, yeah so it makes for a very comfortable ride also I've put some um anti-puncture fluid into the inner tubes of this bike uh, this is sort of a gel thing uh, that's supposed to prevent puncture when you're hitting you know glass or whatever um so yeah um, i guess that's a good thing to do but uh, ironically enough i accidentally punctured my front inner tube and I couldn't find any replacement for it, so I had to manually repair it as well while I was filling with this green fluid thing to prevent puncture and the green fluid did not really actually work. So I guess it's gonna sit there for a while before it actually works, but yeah, uh, optional I guess. Other things I've put on a bike is a mirror so I can see what's happening behind me when riding in traffic which is really good I've put a mobile smartphone holder here uh, I'm also going to put an extra front light as well and uh, yeah all in all I think it's a great bike and it works really well and when it comes to battery power, as I'm a, a um, kind of large person, I weigh about 110 kilos. Uh, the, um, the so-called advertised maximum speed is a bit lower when you're heavier. So for me, instead of the 45 kilometers per hour, I could go maybe 30, 35. But that's, that's um, all fine by me. And um, uh, the range of the battery is something that they advertise about 100 kilometers on one charge. If you ride uh, using pedal assisted or about 40 to 50 kilometers if you use electrical mode only. I guess that's going to be a little bit shorter when you're heavier or depending on how fast you run and... Uh, where you run and such but 
uh, yeah. Also, you need to charge the battery about six times and discharge it six times. You have to do a cycle of six times before you reach its full potential. I hope the battery will improve and that they will provide a better battery in the end, so to speak, so it increases your range a little bit. Because right now, if I'm out riding, I have to go get a extra spare battery and like carry an extra battery around if I go on any further rides. Anyway, uh, that was my short review. I will make a more detailed review later on. Um, I apologize for any sloppy video footage at this time, but gives you a an idea about the bike and it's a really great bike overall uh, I really like it uh, it's nice to ride it's very comfortable once you have done the upgrades and also when you're running on a uh, flat surface like I do um, asphalt and concrete and such you would be wise to put the full 20 psi into your tires uh, but if you're riding on uh, soft ground, such as sand and, and later snow, um, you could deflate them a little bit down to like 18 psi or so uh, to get it more comfortable, get better grip and such in, in the soft underground. So that's about it for me. Um, if you have any questions put them in the comment section I'll try to answer them as much as I can I will link all the things that I've purchased on Amazon in the description and uh, yeah thanks for watching and uh, ride safely out there